Hey guys, how you doing? Ron here with Tech Tips to Go. So in today's video, I got two pieces of news for uh, V Chain for V Chain Fam. So let's get into the video. First off, I want to say uh, thank you for all the guys uh, watching all over the world. Here we had some comments from Greece, the UK, uh, some of my brothers and sisters up here in Toronto, um, Canada. Nova Scotia, etc. So, anyways, let's get into the news. The first, uh, second part of the news is going to be a lot better. The first part of the news is still a big win for for VeChain, especially having VeChain's name kind of mentioned beside these trillion billion dollar companies such as IBM, SAP, and Microsoft. So, this is a uh, DataBridge is basically um, a private research firm that does data analysis, right? And they just talk about you know VeChain, IBM, SAP leading in blockchain solutions. So this is great news because you know if you can be named alongside with Microsoft, IBM, and SAP, that is huge news. Especially for those of you who are familiar familiar with uh, supply chain technologies and ERP systems. So I'm in supply chain uh, solutions, and SAP is probably the biggest name in supply chain software. So software as a service, they have like in SAP, they have an ERP module, they have a WMS module, they have a healthcare, they have an HR module. So SAP is, is such a large company and being named as leaders in blockchain uh, solutions alongside with SAP, Microsoft and IBM, that is huge news. So I'm not going to get into the article too much because it's very brief. It just talks about you know market research, a UK based private research firm, uh, DataBridge just published this and it says, you know, Blockchain technology, massive growth potential, which is going to be $1.375 billion by 2026. I read in another article that it's going to be a lot higher than that. So let's get into the second piece of news, which um, kind of even makes me more bullish. And this was like based on like probably an hour of kind of like connecting the dots. This doesn't necessarily, like, it doesn't say VeChain's name necessarily, but if you connect the dots and you look at who VeChain has been working with, partnered with, who's on the committee members, on the board, etc. That makes you more bullish because uh, let's get into the article here. Let me show you this article first, guys. So WeChat, if you're not familiar with who WeChat is, WeChat is like WhatsApp. In North America, like we all use WhatsApp, right? We use it just mainly for one thing, communication. That's it. Sending files, sending images, etc. Joining groups. But in China and in Asia, everyone uses WeChat. Now, WeChat is so far ahead of the game, and there's been some talks on forums and et cetera, like when is WhatsApp gonna be at the level of WeChat? Because one of my partners many years ago, probably like four or five years ago, he said, oh, before you go to China, Ron, make sure you get WeChat. I'm like, why? He's like, well, you can pay for all your cabs, you can pay for your dinner, you can do transfers, you can buy movies, you can uh, pay for your travel, etc." And I'm like, really? He's, he's like, yeah, it's like WhatsApp. I said, okay. So I started investigating. I finally downloaded um, WeChat. And if you look at it, they've integrated everything. You know, Caesars Casino, uh, paying for your food, your dinner, your travel, your cabs. Uh, you could grab cabs like Uber, um, Grab over there. It, it's in Malaysia. So they have even thing like verified WeChat pay. They have this symbol here at all stores. And you just present your WeChat. You pay with, via the QR code, et cetera. So when you look at this article, it says WeChat, which is Tencent, and let me get into this article. So this article, it says Chinese internet giant Tencent launches blockchain accelerator. So if you look at one of my other videos that I made, underneath the blockchain committee includes Tencent, right? So we'll read this article here. Chinese internet giant Tencent launches blockchain accelerator program and to sum this article up basically what it says is they're offering an accelerator program for businesses that want to kind of join the blockchain ecosystem so whether that's VeChain's ecosystem or another ecosystem but underneath the board of directors and some other blockchain committees there's a lot of mention that VeChain and Tencent belong to the same committee members you know they're they're along that board of directors, list of committee members. And if you look at this over here, I made a video over here. China announces members of its national blockchain committee, includes Beidou and Tencent executives. So in this article, 
it lists all the 71 members of the National Blockchain Committee. And, and it mentions Tencent, and in my other video, um, there's Fudan University, and I think it, if you look at the video, um, it, you, you put two and two together, and you'll be like, ah, oh, wow, okay. So it's Tsinghao University, that's right. So it's this university that's working with VeChain on a project already, and it's Fudan University, right? And then also Tencent is here listed underneath the part of the 71 blockchain directors or committee members. Now, if you look at one of the tweets over here, and this is what made me so bullish because I remember seeing Tencent, there was an involvement with Tencent and VeChain being part of that same blockchain committee. So over here, this is from Crypto Fundamentals on, on, on Twitter. September 2017, this came around October 2019. But it says VeChain becomes part of the board of directors to the China Academy of Information and Communications Technology listed list of trusted blockchains. Now it says being listed at the top of the list of the board of directors gives VeChain an even bigger boost of credibility with China. The program focuses on building blockchain in a compliant manner while supporting China's influence in China's in the global blockchain industry. The program includes massive companies such as China Mobile. They do China Unicom, Huawei, and Tencent SAP. And everyone, uh, if you guys have been following up with the Twitter news, I think there's a, there's a tweet by David that big news is coming, and there was like Alipay in there, and there was a, a bunch of other uh, big trillion dollar company names. And you know, if you look at this article, WeChat paying using blockchain to track payments. So you know, I'm not too sure if Tencent has white label V chains program. But since they all belong to that same committee board of members, and they've got these great relationships with each other, you know, VeChain and Tencent, uh, this might be a little hopi hopium, or you know, a little, um, you know, some people be like, well, that's a little skeptical. But if you connect the dots on this one again, um, they're all in China. You know, VeChain is already working on, on these two projects, you know, Fudan and Tsinghao University. And those two board of directors, they belong on that board of directors of the list of 71 with Tencent and Tencent using WeChat using blockchain and VeChain being listed on the board of members with Tencent VeChain. You know, you put those together, it's like, well, okay, well, maybe they're going to use a VTOR VeChain block, blockchain solution and it should be white labeled, right? So anyways... I'm not sure, you know, it could be Hopium. Um, I'm just trying to kind of put the, I'm just trying to put those dots together and kind of, maybe you guys have more information out there, but I, th I th think this is great news, right? But either way, if they're not using VeChain or not, I think it's still great news for VeChain because Tencent is kind of helping with global adoption, especially in China, with bringing on companies with at least one round of, of financial funding towards blockchain solutions. So there's an article out there. I'm not too sure if it leaves it in, leaves the, the description in here, but in order to qualify to become part of their accelerator program and get mentorship from Tencent to join the accelerator program, you get mentorship, you, you learn to learn about blockchain technology, you have need to be approved and also had at least one round of financing, right, or funding. So um, this is great news and, you know, if, if they're not using, if Tencent doesn't have a blockchain solution, then probably it will be VeChain or, you know, a list of recommended blockchain provider solutions or enterprises that offer blockchain solutions like VeChain. So anyways, guys, I uh, want to keep it short. Comment on the video. Give me a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.